We are at the Port of Miami. Sojourn is just right over there. So this, this really is gonna happen. We are embarking, walking across the uh, boarding gangway. Let the voyage begin. <laughs> All right, let's go find our suite. Almost there. 611. Okay. Doors open. There we go. Oh, we're here. Yay! Hard, nice. to, hard to believe it. Our home for the next 140 days. We are here at the Pool Grill on Sojourn for our first lunch of this world cruise. We are excited. Our luggage wasn't here yet, so hopefully it'll show up soon. But in the meantime, we're going to have a little lunch and a Lagunitas IPA. Uh, good morning. Here we are in Key West. Arrived about 7 a.m. Tied up against the pier. Looks like a beautiful day. So we're going to go explore the town and see what we can find. Maybe some conch fritters, maybe a beer or two. Hey. We're in Key West, taking a walk down the street today here, nice and cool. There's the little train, trolley train. We stopped in here at the Waterfront Brewery to have a couple of pints. Then further into town, maybe down towards Duval Street, Caroline Street. I understand there's a food cart over there that's uh, highly recommended. Sounds like a good thing to do in Key West is eat seafood and drink beer. Drink beer. Cheers. Cheers. So we're across from the Truman White House. He, Truman, when he was president, would spend the summers down here, or, or at least off times. Uh, famous historical landmark here in Key West. We're having a great time here in Key West, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Today we're in Guatemala. We are in Santo Tomas de Castillo, Guatemala, and our excursion is going to be Las Escobas Discovery. It'll be a walk in the rainforest. Uh, they've said there are going to be some waterfalls to look at, maybe a few uh, fresh ponds to swim in. Um, so it should be an interesting time. Hope we see some animals, some birds, and beautiful flowers. And, and lots of jungle. And so uh, zip up, be prepared. We're going for a walk in the jungle. Here we are in Las Escobas yeah. uh, Preserve. It is a rainforest with a couple nice waterfalls, a couple nice real crystal clear pools that we swam in. Uh, nice refreshing cold water. Las Escobas means broom. And the local people here use the ferns that grow in this area to make brooms to sweep with, sweep the floor with. Las Escobas. And right now we're going to go to another waterfall. We're going to have about half an hour, so we're going to spend more time. And then it's going to be almost 20 minutes walking back to the main entrance. At the main entrance, they're going to have a Cayo Beer. Cayo is our national beer. So, Cayo Pia is for the Castillo family, but it's a German recipe. When Germans came to Guatemala, they brought the coffee technology to Guatemala. Hello. Hello. You have a panic run into our group again, have you? Yeah, we have eight minutes. Very good, very good. Okay, we'll go back to the ship after our Las Escobas discovery, the Rainforest Walk. A swim in a, a pool, a couple waterfalls, and a cerveza and a tortilla. We are at Maruga Rainforest Trail, and we are going to take a walk through the rainforest. We may hope to see some animals. Uh, somebody said they already saw a sloth, so we're going to keep our eyes and ears peeled for the wildlife. 
we have other things to add maybe yeah. this ants we call the bullet ants now the bullet ants is very big well mm -hmm. like like this like this yeah and it's very black it's black 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 the name of it tell you already bullet ants bullet, bullet. bullet. so bullet. guess what if he bites you even if you get the shot the pain still going to be there for three four hours We are on the Rainforest Trail, a flat trail uh, with some walkways. Hi, I'm Barb. And I'm Paul. And this is Travels with BNP. Today, we are in a native Embera village in Panama. We got here. First, we rode a bus out of Panama City, and we got in dugout canoes for a ride across the lake. It was wet, let me tell you. Yeah, I think we had probably about four inches of water in the boat by the time that we stopped. And it wasn't too bad. Uh, a little choppy on the lake part, so we took it slow, but uh, they gave us life jackets and we felt safe. And it's an adventure, like Paul said. We've seen some birds, and now we are in the village where we're expecting a uh, dance performance and a welcome by the chief. My name is my name is Claudio, okay? Claudio. Yes. Uh, I'm living here. I'm born here, okay? And uh, we want to give you a little speech about the community, okay? Usually uh, we don't speak English because we have Embera language. This is the name of the language. Uh, my name is Aldo. Aldo. Yeah. Aldo. Aldo. Rutru Arabada Aldo. Here we are back in the dugout canoe. Ready for a ride back, I hope. The shortcut for the shortcut. <laughs> Today we're in Monta, Ecuador, and we have quite a story to tell. This is our second day in Monta, first day uh, where we were actually able to get off the ship. Going to shore, probably one of the more exciting tender boardings we've had, where the tender was heaving up and down, probably five or six feet in comparison to the platform. Yesterday we were tied up to the pier. Early on in the afternoon, we started hopping dock lines, breaking dock lines. I think they said four dock lines broke, and it was determined it was not safe to stay at the pier, so 
The captain motored out and anchored in the harbor. Uh, about 200 guests and 50 crew members were stranded ashore for a while, for a couple hours, while we got anchored and they start deployed tenders to come and get them. So it was quite a story. It was, it was pretty bouncy, I have to say. And we missed, uh, we missed going ashore by about five minutes. We had finally decided it was time to go to shore. And as we were getting ready to go, the captain came on and said, eh, sorry. We're uh, shutting down operations here at the pier and we're going to go anchor and start tender service. Uh, one of the things they are famous for, other than tuna, huge tuna fleet here, we watched them unload yesterday, is Panama hats. They uh, make the Panama hats here and uh, they're world famous. So we may go see if we can find a Panama hat, find maybe a little beach bar to have a little lunch, maybe a local beer and we'll see what happens next. Stay tuned. Today is Wednesday. We're here in Monta, Ecuador. Wandered over to this beach. It's not real busy today. Looking at the ocean. Enjoying the weather. A few guys off their surfboard, so maybe uh, maybe they'll get out and do a little surfing today. We are in Manta at San Remo Seafood Restaurant, sitting by the beach, watching the waves roll in and having a beer. Cheers. This beer is Cerveza Pilsner, Desde 1913. Big bottle. And it's good. What are you having, Paul? So I'm having a Cerveza Club Premium. Large, comes in a big green bottle. We'll be here on the beachfront, watching the waves roll in, watching the surfers. It's a good day to be on the beach here in Ponta, Ecuador. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>